another Game of Thrones filming location. This is seriously one of my favorite things that we've done in Ireland so far. Irish whiskey. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time, non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were in Belfast, where we learned about the city's history and conflict on the famous Black Cab Tour, stumbled upon an awesome and delicious festival, and ended our day exploring where the Titanic was built. This week, we're road tripping the scenic Causeway Coastal Route. We all know that the planning stage is often the most time consuming and stressful part of any vacation. So when we find a product or service that makes that process easier, we are all about it. And that's why we love the sponsor of today's video, Magic. Magic is a personal AI travel assistant that can help you make your travel experiences more magical than ever by creating incredible curated itineraries and finding the best hotels, restaurants, experiences, and so much more while catering to your personal needs and preferences. And whatever your needs and preferences may be, Magic has you covered. So whether you're planning a three-day trip to Boston in the fall for a history buff who also loves seafood, or you're looking for the perfect weekend road trip along Northern Ireland's Antrim coast for an outdoor enthusiast, Magic can create the perfect itinerary for you. And if you don't need a full itinerary plan, but you're looking for accommodations to fit your specific needs, Magic has you covered there as well. For instance, we were recently traveling to Budapest, Hungary, and we were looking for a three-plus star hotel for less than $250 a night with free breakfast and an airport shuttle. And with no trouble at all, Magic came up with a list of amazing options. As you can see, it really <laughs> is like Magic, and it's become a tool that we regularly use to help plan our travels. And the best part is, it's completely free. So check out the Magic link down in the description of this video and let us know what trips you'll be using Magic to help plan. Thank you so much to Magic for sponsoring this video. Welcome, Welcome to, to Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. This is the third video in our Ireland series, so if you haven't watched the others yet, be sure to check those out after this video. But today we have made our way all the way to the northern part of the island where we're gonna be road tripping the Causeway Coast. Now we won't be able to fit in every stop along the way, but make sure you guys check out our blog for a full guide and a list of stops to help you plan your Northern Ireland road trip. And if you couldn't tell, we're at our first stop, the Dark Hedges. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed with this place. We kind of were hoping that it wasn't gonna be like an Instagram versus yeah. reality situation, and it's blew our minds. Yes, we have heard that it gets crazy crowded in the mm -hmm. late mornings and afternoons, which is why we're here first thing in the morning, and we practically had the place to ourselves. Yeah, I mean, the birds chirping, the smells of the flowers, like yeah. highly, highly recommend. Yeah, everything about it has been incredible. And a little bit of history about the Dark Hedges and why they're here. Back around 1775, a man by the name James Stewart built an estate. It's up at the end of this road, I believe. And the road leading up to it, he lined with 150 beech trees. Yeah. Now in 2016, only about 90 of those were still standing. And since then, quite a few of them have fallen in storms, but it is still absolutely stunning and worth checking out. Now, fun fact for those of you who don't know, a lot of the scenes in Game of Thrones were filmed in Northern Ireland. So if you didn't notice, this is King's Road. Okay. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> so what I think is really cool, some of the trees that have fallen down, they've actually made into Game of Thrones doors. Yeah. They feature some of the scenes from Game of Thrones and from the photos I've seen of them, they look pretty incredible. And they're like all throughout Northern yeah. Ireland and there's 10 of them. So you yep. can see all of them. Hopefully we're going to see one later today, yep. but I think so. that is so <laughs> cool. Highly, highly recommend this place. It is worth checking out. All right, so if you don't want to be crazy like us and rent a car where you drive on the other side of the car and on the other side of the road, we're going to link a bunch of tours down below because when we told people we were going to be doing this, everybody was like, oh, see, look, I was already going on the right side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll put a bunch of tours like day trips either from Dublin or Belfast. So we'll link those down below and just pray for us, okay? Because we already had one 
near miss earlier today. <laughs> You're good my way. And on the left side of the road. Left side, yeah. Yep. I forgot already. On this two lane road, 60 miles an hour. This is speed limit. And I'm literally going 36. Sorry. The road's really small. You're doing great. So yeah, if you don't want to be crazy like us, just book a tour. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're good, we're good. We've made it to our next stop and the weather has kind of changed to more of the <laughs> Irish weather that we were expecting. That's true. But yes, we have made it to Carrica Reed. I think I'm saying that right. But the main attraction here is the 66 foot long rope bridge that connects the mainland to a tiny little island. It was first established in 1755 and was used mostly by the salmon fishermen. I believe there's only one small building on the island and it was a fisherman's cottage that was used by fishermen way back in the day, but let's go check it out. So side note, they do have toilets here which is a major win. And then they also have a little cafe. Yeah, which is great because you can grab your coffee, ice cream, snacks, whatever else you might want, and then make the short one kilometer walk to the bridge. <laughs> okay, so I knew it was a bridge, but I didn't really put two and two together because I am afraid of heights. And they're like slatted, <laughs> and I don't know how well I'm gonna do, but. It moves a lot from what it looks like. Yeah, but it looks and epic. And I think it's just shy of 100 feet above the water, so this should be fun. <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> you got this. So I'm letting Matt go first. Oh my God. I'm not doing so well. Well, beautiful. It was terrifying. <laughs> and Matt just left me. It was like taking photos of me across the bridge. And I'm like, I'm trying to die. You beautiful walking across that bridge. So I wanted to get photos to remember it by. Yeah, maybe I'm like, <laughs> this is Fisherman's Cottage beautiful. is closed. Okay, this is seriously one of my favorite things that we've done in Ireland so far. Yes, I'm so glad that we decided to take a couple of extra days and add on this Northern Ireland loop that we're doing, because- It's absolutely yes. stunning. <laughs> So we're gonna do the bridge yep. one more time. I mean, you gotta take it twice because yeah, that's true. how it works. <laughs> how you feeling? I am nervous. <laughs> My heart rate is already up and I'm just looking at it.
highly, highly, <laughs> highly recommend this. Yeah, we really enjoyed our time mm -hmm. here and spent entirely too long here probably. Probably, but it was um, worth it. <laughs> yes, it was. But now we're off to see if we can find another Game of Thrones filming location called Balintoy Harbor. I might be saying yeah. that wrong, but I think that's it. Let's go. <laughs> This place is really, really cool. Yes. I do want to say, as soon as you open your door, the smell will hit you. Yes, it's very fishy and ocean smelling here. Yeah. Which, it just makes for a better experience, honestly. It really does. <laughs> Definitely yeah. make a pit stop here. Yeah. And you don't have to spend long here. We've ended up kind of just chilling out and taking our time, but you could just swing through and see it really quick. I mean, the farthest walk would take you maybe five, five minutes. Five minutes, top, yeah. So. All right, so I think we have worked up an appetite For and sure. deserve a good <laughs> meal after all of this walking, so let's go eat. Probably be an Irish stew for me. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones door. <laughs> Pretty awesome. It's here at Fullerton Arms, which is a restaurant, bar, and like B and B. I thought I ordered the small order of their local seafood chowder. I'm pretty sure this is not the small order. I'm not really too upset about it because I am starving and it looks delicious. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Oh man, that's good. So creamy and hearty. Perfect for this kind of overcast cool day that we've got. They knew what they were doing when they gave me the full order. I never thought of like Irish seafood chowder, but I love it. So I ordered for a starter the sourdough bread. <laughs> Mm, but this with the seafood chowder is gonna be an epic combination. Look, Matt's already diving in. Happy man. <laughs> so I ordered the Fullerton Guinness pie and it came with this beautiful flaky pastry with a huge side of mashed potatoes, which if you know me, you know I love mashed potatoes. Alright, let's dig in. Mm. I'm moving here, man. Highly recommend. Mm. Just went with their Fullerton burger, which has an onion ring, bacon, lettuce, cheese, it's served on a brioche bun. That is very good, very fresh. The cheese is so gooey. The bacon, of course, it's not our kind of bacon, so I would like it a little crispier than it is. Still very good. Onion ring is delicious, fried to perfection. And this brioche bun, nice and soft and buttery, so good. Guys, you're gonna have to roll me out of here. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. There's not a ton of food options around here, so we kind of thought, since this is more of a, we, it seemed like a touristy spot, we thought it might be a little bit of a letdown as far as the food quality, but. Yeah, when you see a coach bus out in front of a restaurant, you're like, uh, <laughs> is this gonna be good? But honestly, it honestly, was really, really enjoyed good. It. I'm so full. I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> unbutton my pants. All right, well, good thing we got full bellies, because now we're off to Ireland's oldest licensed distillery. Also on the way there, Matt's gonna drive and he hasn't driven here yet. So pray that we we'll make it there. <laughs> A little nervous. 
haven't driven on the other side of the road since our honeymoon in Barbados almost six years ago, and I've never driven a manual transmission on the other side of the road. Drive on the left. <laughs> All right, drive on the left. I think the mirrors are good enough. <laughs> Do you have your brake on? Yeah. <laughs> also, I did unbuckle my pants. People fly on these roads. I'm cruising along granny speed. No offense to any of the grannies out there. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Stay on your side. Oh my god. <laughs> this side is way worse. So you can take tours of Bushmill Distillery, but for time's sake, since we're trying to fit so much in today, we decided we're just gonna go do a tasting in the bar. But again, I think a tour would be great if you have the time. for two separate tastings within the bar. One costs 10 pound, one costs 25. The less expensive of the two comes with their Black Bush Irish whiskey, as well as a 10 year single malt and a 12 year. Then my tasting, I didn't really hear the price. I just said, <laughs> yeah, we'll take two, one of each. Um, I didn't realize it was 25 pounds, but the one that I got was the 12 year single malt, which is the same as the 10 pound. But yeah. then you also get a 16 year single malt and a 21 year single malt which yeah. I don't know what that means really. I know it's old, but I'm excited to try it. We're, we are by no means whiskey connoisseurs. No. All right, so this will be lowest end of the five different ones that we have here. Yeah. Smells nice. Oh, it does. I get sweet notes, so I'm excited yeah, about it. Sweet. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever really had Irish whiskey, have you? I've never had Irish whiskey. Yeah. That one definitely burned. <laughs> I think all of them are gonna burn. <laughs> yeah, but that one was a lot. <laughs> Moving along to the 10 year. That one's smoother for sure. It mm. doesn't have the bite on mm -hmm. it, not even close. We're already getting better. But even smell it, there's a difference. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Don't begin to mix those. I'm not. Trust me, I don't know which one burns more. We, oh, we got both two have 12s. 12. Okay. So. Cheers. Or how, how do they say it here? Slunchy. Um, slunchy. 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 Okay, this one does smell smoother, a little more caramely, sweeter. It was smooth, it not a lot a... of burn, but it burns for a longer time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now this is the 16 year single malt. I get a smoke. All right. We only got one left to try. This is it. Oh wow. The amount of flavor in that. That one's got a uh, That's less wild. of a sweet smell to it to me. It, it, More yeah. of a smoky. You're 100% right. Right? That one's completely different. It's like full body. Then there's like a almost a malty caramel aftertaste that kicks in. Oh, for you me. got that? I didn't get yeah. that. Like if you I... breathe through your nose. Nothing. Yeah, obviously there's a big difference from the 16 year to the 21 year. To yeah. me it's like an old steak. I can see that. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know how to describe it. Like dry aged, like there's yeah. just complexity of flavors in that. So I'm excited to go backwards now. The 12 and the 21 are kind of those sweet spots. Yeah. 16 is still got a little bit of bite to it and probably not worth the price jump in my opinion. And the 10 to the 12, I'd rather just do the 12. And the 21 is just pretty much smooth all the way it's through. It's a different thing. Is that one of your favorite? I think so. I mean, it depends on how I was drinking it probably. Neat, this for sure, I think I is the way. I agree with that. So Matt, just Google. So, so I was curious how much a bottle of this 21 year aged single malt would cost me if I went back home. The total wine in our neck of the woods says it would be about $290 for a 750 milliliter bottle. Oy. So it's, it's no wonder that this is like my favorite one. <laughs> So aren't you glad I got the $25 tasting? I am. I don't know that I will ever get to taste this again. <laughs> so what is the 16? 
I'll have to look the one that up. we're not a fan know. of. But if it's really expensive, we're gonna be. 290. I'm rich. <laughs> Try this again now that you know how expensive it is. It tastes better now, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it already was good. Now it's like, man, that's real good. I don't know if it'll change for everybody. Come on, this thing, that's 209. That right there was probably a $5 mm -hmm. sip. Oh, wow. You know what? It does taste like money. <laughs> it does. Smells like money. Honestly, I've never had anything like it. And the and, reason and let why me tell you, I haven't you'll never had it have anything like it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the 16 year costs about $150 stateside, so we definitely got to drink this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them we're not the going to finish. The rest we also have to be responsible because we are driving on a road yes. trip, so we're just going to yeah, do we'll, the expensive ones we'll and leave the rest. Finish the too expensive. <laughs> yeah. I do want to say Ireland has really blessed us with this amazing weather. Yes, it has. We've had sunshine at least for part of every day that we've been it's here. It's been so far. amazing. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about this experience. This was a great pit stop. Yes. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. I would definitely do it again, and we could have spent longer there. Yeah, for sure. But since we are driving, we decided, as <laughs> Natalie said, to not finish our flights and yeah. be responsible. Um, so, yeah, now we are on to the next stop. On to the next stop that we've been looking for. Yeah. Yes. to four years now yeah. so definitely a major so highlight of excited. this road trip Also scared me so bad. Okay, I can do it again. I think it's the giant. Do you know what I mean? So we have arrived at Giant's Causeway. <laughs> and now while you technically can visit Giant's Causeway for free, for convenience purposes and easy parking, plus a free audio tour, we decided to book through the National Trust, which that money goes back into helping preserve and maintain Giant's yeah. Causeway. So we feel like it's a great option. And it was only like $13.50 per adult. And it also has a museum. That's where I got scared. They have like this really cool <laughs> little area. They have free literature. They have a cafe, yeah. bathrooms, all of that. Yeah. So it does close at five daily though, mm -hmm. so plan for that. We saw it from afar it looked a little <laughs> underwhelming i'm not gonna lie we were like oh this might not live up to our expectations but then we got down to the causeway itself and it's yep. spectacular yep, it i mean is. we're about to climb this right here and i mean yeah. some of them are up to 40 feet high these yep. stones just pillars wow pretty impressive amazing irish folklore says it's because of a giant yep. fin mccool mccool <laughs> that's how i'm gonna say yeah. it says he built it because he was is gonna fight another giant from Scotland. Yeah, um, it's like a whole thing. So yeah. just come here if you want to learn. I'm gonna go with the that. more scientific thing that it was made from a volcanic. <laughs> no, that's not as fun. But. That's not as fun. All right, let's <laughs> climb these. Ocean water, it's like fishy ocean water. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Ooh, we Smell me. Oh, it. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> that was actually so funny.
absolutely fallen in love with Northern Ireland. We are so happy that we decided to add Northern Ireland to the road trip. It's been beyond amazing. And even though we've only gotten to hit a few of the highlights of the Causeway Coast, every one of them has exceeded our expectations yeah. and we cannot wait to come back and explore more of this incredibly beautiful country. And if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button to join us on this adventure. And be sure to tune in to our next video where we continue our Ireland adventures. Shop and coffee. <laughs> a coffee. It's supposed to be a cafe. Shop and cafe. No. <laughs> Looking out. No. Guinness pie. So I ordered the sh no. So I ordered the also, I just uh, want to say that so many people are um, watching just us. Just watching us film ourselves. So, yeah. Um, so, we did it! Very big bite. How big of a bite was he? I just finished it. Don't want to have another Barbados screenplay. That's true. Do you want to tell people what you did? I uh, hit a curb and blew a tire within the first five minutes of driving in Barbados. <laughs> All of them are gonna burn, <laughs> yeah. especially on my chapped lips. <laughs> oh my God, you just did that. <laughs>